Your ophthalmologist has diagnosed your eye condition as central retinal vein occlusion, or CRVO. This is where your major vein in your retina is blocked. He or she recommends treating your CRVO with medication injections and laser surgery that may help to slow the disease. To understand how CRVO affects your vision, it's important to understand how the eye works. Light rays enter the eye through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused on the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina has two areas, the peripheral retina, which gives us our side or wide-angle vision, and the macula, the small area at the center of the retina. The macula gives us our pinpoint vision, allowing us to see detail clearly. With central retinal vein occlusion, the main vein in the retina, which takes blood back to the heart from the eye, is blocked. Slowing of the bloodstream, changes in the vessel wall, and changes in the blood can all contribute to the formation of a blood clot. The blockage causes the walls of the vein to leak blood and fluid into the retina. When this fluid collects in the macula, vision becomes blurry. Without treatment, you can quickly lose much of your central vision. Your ophthalmologist will treat your CRVO with a drug called anti-VEGF medication, as well as laser surgery. He or she will determine how many injections you need over a period of time, as well as the type and frequency of laser surgery. Both medication injections and laser surgery are outpatient procedures. You'll be given a topical anesthetic eye drop to keep your eye comfortable. These treatments will be done separately from each other, and each takes only a few minutes. Anti-VEGF medication is injected into the vitreous, a clear jelly-like substance in the center of the eye. This medication can reduce swelling of the macula, which helps to slow vision loss or perhaps even improve vision. It is important to remember that this drug cannot cure CRVO. Although some people may regain some of their vision, for others, the medication might not restore vision that has already been lost. And there is the possibility that for some people, the medicine may not stop further vision loss from CRVO. With severe cases of CRVO, new blood vessels can grow in the retina and can cause an increase in eye pressure. Laser surgery is performed in conjunction with a medical injection to slow this process. This laser surgery for CRVO is called PRP, or Pan-Retinal Laser Photocoagulation. With PRP, a laser is targeted at many spots all around the periphery of the retina, avoiding the central macula. Many small burns are made to the retina. This treatment causes the blood vessels to shrink and often prevents them from growing again in the future. It also decreases the chances of the blood vessels bleeding. As with any medication or procedure, there are risks of side effects and complications with anti-VEGF treatment. These may include eye pain, a bloodshot eye, small specks in your vision called floaters, inflammation or swelling of the eye, retinal detachment, which is when the retina pulls away from the back of the eye, clouding of the lens of the eye or cataract, increased pressure in the eye called glaucoma, damage to the retina, cornea or lens, bleeding, eye infection, vision loss, and the need for more treatment, including medication and surgery. Though it is very rare, it is possible for some people using anti-VEGF medications to have a stroke, hemorrhage, or heart attack. Tell your ophthalmologist if you have had a heart attack or stroke in the last few months. Risks and complications associated with PRP laser surgery include temporary pain, decreased night vision, blind spots in your peripheral vision, loss of central vision, retinal bleeding, retinal scar tissue, and continued abnormal blood vessel growth or bleeding requiring additional treatment. Any or all of these complications may decrease your vision or possibly even cause blindness. Additional procedures may be needed to treat these complications. 
Other forms of treatment may be available for your case of CRVO. These options could include steroid medication injections or other types of surgery. Your ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose a particular course of treatment for your condition. You do not have to be treated for CRVO. However, without treatment, CRVO can lead to further vision loss, sometimes very quickly. Be sure to keep all appointments with your ophthalmologist after treatments. Monitoring your vision is a vital step toward the goal of preserving your sight.